welcome. doing? I'm good. Welcome back to the Weekly Comet. I am Tamara Kana. And I'm Jonathan McHugh. And today we have YouTube music sensation Kurt Hugo Schneider here Woo. to talk about producing viral music videos for his channel, which has held over 1.5 million subscribers and almost 463 million views. A kid wow. knows how to talk to the world out there. That's a whole lot. There's a whole lot going on yeah, there. There's people out there looking. And of course, we have Jason Kramer's pick of the week later in the show. But first, we have indie rockers Troop, formed by Walesborn songwriter Alex Troop, who came to Los Angeles and collected a great group of guys. And here they are. Take it away. Blackout, you see, the night was a stranger to me. Apparently, I was at sea, evidently at night. Ebony talking to me, fingering all the white keys, doing it naturally. Everything was alright. I'm gonna get out of this state, I'm gonna hit downtown late, I'm gonna pour wine on my sleeve, and I'm gonna get right. I'm gonna live elegantly I'm gonna get down from my tree I'm gonna take four o'clock tea And I'm gonna look nice Shake like a leaf We on all time is a thief Because he ain't got life I'm gonna keep rolling along Singing my old sailor song I'm gonna do everything wrong But it's gonna be right I'm gonna live elegantly I'm gonna get down from my tree I'm gonna take four o'clock tea I said I'm gonna take four o'clock They just released their debut album. They're going to be on the show to talk about it in a little bit. But what time is it? We got news It is time, time for the Comet News. Yes, indeed. Bring it on. So post-punk rockers Green Day have announced their first leg of their Uno, Dos, Tres tour. This full-scale North American tour will kick off in intimate venues first, which is pretty cool, in November and December, and then in January they're going to go into big arenas. 
Um, they're obviously releasing a trilogy. Uh, the first one's going to be released September 23rd, then November 13th, and then January 15th. So it's going to be Hoping all about Green music. Day. And wasn't your brother yeah. hanging out with Green, Green Day? Green Day sighting last night in Manhattan. Uh, Billy Joe was out uh, checking out his buddy Jesse Mallon. My brother was hanging at the club, hanging with him, said he's just a regular hanging at dude. The club in New York. Hanging at the bar, having a beer. God bless him. And one of my favorite all-time rock stars, Neil Young and Crazy Horse, have a brand new album called Psychedelic Pill, which will be out October 20th. He's got guest artists like... No, that's for the bridge school. What did I say? You said he has got guest artists. Oh, I'm sorry. You're yeah. right. You're right. The bridge school, one of the greatest concerts put on every year by Neil Young. Uh, this year, he has Guns N' Roses. Will he actually show up? Guns N' Roses! Up? Will he diss Neil Young? really on top of it. God bless him. Jack White, Flaming Lips will be some of the acts that will be there uh, October 2021 up in the uh, San Francisco area at Mountain View. Shoreline Arena uh, Amphitheater, one of, one of the greatest venues around. It's rock and roll for a good cause. No, it's something I've always wanted to do. Uh, it's a, know, it's a junior festival. So I, know I think Jason's going to go. Jason's not going to go. It's a junior <laughs> festival. You know, it's a one or two day thing. But I may try to get there. So uh, we'll see. So for everyone out there who's sick of Call Me Maybe um, and all the covers, um, there's a new song to, to cover and be sick of. It's called The Kiss. Um, it's Carly Rae Jepsen's new single off of her upcoming album. Super catchy record. Which is called Kiss. And that is actually going to be out next week. And we're going to be posting it on our Facebook page later, Comet Music. So check it out. Sweet. But next up, we have producer, singer, songwriter, video editor, Kurt Hugo Schneider, who has taken YouTube by storm. Woo. Kurt Hugo Schneider. I just In love that it's like your middle name is part of your name. It just happened that way, you know. It's, it's got a certain... Going. Rolls off your tongue. Yeah, well, when I was making the YouTube channel, I, I didn't think it would get big, so I just kind of put up there. Someone already had Kurt Schneider, so... Now it's stuck. So you didn't think it would get it. big. You're like, hey, I'm at Yale and I'm going to make a video? Like, <laughs> how did you even start? Put out the first video almost... Was it high school or Yale when you put out the first video? It was college at Yale. Okay, so and you're you're basically nothing better to do at Yale. Yeah, except, except put out school, videos on but YouTube. Like, oh, I'm so. going to do a YouTube video. <laughs> really? Yeah, that, that was basically actually how it happened. So that was almost four years ago. And uh, decided to put one out. We... It was it was a cover of a high school musical song, and uh, I think we've come a long way since then. But um, put it out, and people liked it. It got like a thousand views overnight, and uh, and to us at the time, that was like really big deal, getting that much in, in one day. But now it's just like that's that's a drop in the bucket. Right. But, yeah, you know, just put out more stuff after that. So. so you hooked up with, hold on, you hooked up with Sam Tsui, right? Mm -hmm. And the Michael Jackson medley went like through the roof. Yeah, that, like how did you and Sam hook up, and how did that happen? We've actually we've known each other Sorry. for a while. Uh, we went to middle school together, we went to high school together, and then we went to college together. So same bus route in middle school. <laughs> so it goes back a ways. Um, and we really started doing music in high school, and college was just more. Finally, put it out on the internet. People started watching. And it all went from there. Wow. And what percentage of the co covers versus originals do you do? We started doing a lot of covers um, at first. And, you know, it's, it's tough to, to break out with original content. Yes. And if, if there's someone who, who you don't know, why, why would the, the world look at an original from an artist they don't know on YouTube? It's, it's, it's a lot harder to just get mm -hmm. the eyeballs, you know? of hmm. all the videos that they can click on. Uh, it's tough to get them to click on something that where they, they don't feel like some sense of familiarity right. with, with some aspect of it. So, um, yeah, started with covers, did a bunch of mashups, like the Michael Jackson medley, combining a bunch of songs in, in ways we thought were fun. Well, we he's a one-man choir. Yeah. I mean, it's fascinating, like, just how you shot it and, and how it, and you edited it. It's, like, it's fascinating to watch. Yeah, and he's a great performer, right. so that that's always always helps. And then you ended up with some more celebrity friends, and that helped pump it up, right? Uh, Victoria, I, I guess. I mean, and Max, it, Nickelodeon kids, as you call them. It always comes down to just uh, doing music we love, though. So right. you know, hopefully, it's still still. Well, just it's that. fun. It's fun, and uh, it's so Yale graduate, and you have a gazillion million viewers. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you like? Uh, 
you're just going to stay in music and start producing and working with artists? Like, what's your what's your vision? Music, film, video stuff. Um, I want to do a lot of writing and production of original content. I want to produce with original, like, major artists. And um, obviously, the whole YouTube thing is is where we started. So I want to keep that going, putting out content that we think is interesting, that we think is fun, that that we like doing. Just keep on getting that out there. And um, so it, it's really the whole songwriting, production, YouTube content, um, banquet of stuff. Mm -hmm. We actually have people yeah. on YouTube watching us, and we have a couple questions um, from the YouTube viewers. This is from Ashley G. If you weren't able to be a musician producer anymore, what would you like to do instead? If I weren't able to be a musician, well, uh, Filmmaker is kind of a cop-out, because I'm, I'm sort of doing that now, too. But I guess, I mean, I was a math major in school. So, uh, I mean, maybe be a mathematician. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really sure. Hmm. I, That's heady stuff. Contemplate that. Your viewers <laughs> want to know. And then we had another question, uh, which was, what's the craziest fan thing that's ever happened to you? Uh, I I had to sign someone's shoes once. What? Uh, but no yeah. body parts. No, no shoes. Not yet. Shoes. Well, that shoes are, are weirder. Yeah, I guess. You have to like. You think shoes are weirder down. than I... breasts? Really? <laughs> for, for signing? For signing? Yeah. Rockstar signed breasts. Well, I don't know. It depends on the context. Well, you're in the game. You got to be signing breasts. I I actually said that with a straight face too. Yes, I could, you did. I you did. Have it. <laughs> Uh, how about your craziest college story? My craziest. That's from B Broadway File. Phil File. B Day B Day Way File. B Day Way File. Wants to know. Wants to know. Uh, B Day Way File. Can you say it? What your craziest college story is? Uh, my craziest college story that I want to share to the world. Uh, <laughs> man, I. Uh, did it, let me you know, all, it, all the crazy ones are the ones that that they stick with you, but you know they. They should, you they, forget should, them? they should keep that way with you, you know, Stay not, not with not with the interwebs, with, with, with the internet. Did your life change on campus after you started posting? Did you get yeah, that much act, more? Yeah, actually, it did. You know, a lot of people, uh, the people on campus were the first people that, that really started watching videos. I mean, when we put out the first videos, we we send it out to just Facebook friends and try to get you know them to check it out, and you know, people in the dorm started watching the content we were putting out. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were kind of our first fans, so yeah, it, it, it did. So you became more BMOC? With the <laughs> he's getting a lot of questions. <laughs> I don't he's, know about, about He's that getting part. a lot of questions from girls, which is fascinating. You've got a lot of chick fans out there. Um, this is from Teresa K. Hey, Teresa. What's up? What's, up? What's the favorite thing you like to do besides producing? Uh, I mean, I love seeing movies. I love uh, taking weirdly long hikes in the middle of the night. So in the middle of the night? Yeah, actually night that's, that's the best time. And where do you do this? It's not hot. It's not it's, hot. it's there's there's just no one around so you can like you can think, think or you what can do whoever you are. Coyotes. Coyotes. <laughs> I've never really? seen I've never seen a coyote <laughs> on a <laughs> hike. I've never yeah, seen you that. Watch and mountain lions. Watch out okay, for so Tigers midnight birds. like nighttime hikes. I kind of like it. There's something that. kind of like that's like one of those dating profile yeah. things. Yeah. Likes nice <laughs> looking. Wow. Yeah, no, I think it like, sounds you know. terrible when you put it that way. It sounds sounds cheesy. Okay, one last question right. from uh, from our YouTube viewers. This is from um, J K Y Lam. J K Y Lam. Um, how do you decide which artist to work with, and what do you look for in an artist to work with? Like, what's kind of like? How do you know? Um, I think when. I mean, when I, I look at a lot of singers on YouTube, um, get a lot of people sending off videos of them singing, them, them playing instruments, uh, a, a bunch of random things. And, um, and some, some of them are good, some of them aren't, but there's some people that you just, you, you want to watch the video. You just, you, you want to keep looking at it. And um, it's some mixture of, of charisma and authenticity and just that undescribable something, and the it um, factor. yeah, exactly. And and obviously, you have to be good. You have to be a great singer, and um, you have you have to have a ton of talent. But there's also just that like that like I want to watch you vibe that I feel like sometimes you feel it and sometimes you don't. So. 
Well, we will keep watching you, and thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much That's for having me. Pleasure. Thank you so much. It was so much fun. Sure. And speaking of It Factor, well, we have Jason Kramer in the house, who, of course, is... He's, he's Cousin It. He is the It Man. Cousin It. If it's happening, Jason Kramer knows about knows. it. Over to you, Jason Kramer's Pick of the Week. Jason! <laughs> we were waiting to go over to Jason Kramer, so John and I are still here. You know, I'm really jealous that Billy Joe actually hung out with your brother. You know, sometimes you're in the right place at the right time. Well, you know, your brother is in the right place at the right time a lot. He's out there booking clubs whenever, you know, if anybody needs a gig in New York, call Mike McHugh. He'll set it up. Mike McHugh. New Century Booking. That's right. Promoting the big brother. Promoting the big brother. Well, I'm actually, I mean, I, I'm excited about, um, about the Green Day tour. I've seen Green Day perform in, like, really intimate venues before. So I think the, the intimate venue tour is going to be super cool. You know, Jason, I, I miss you. I love you. Where are you? It's called Source Code. There he is. <laughs> hey! That was the Source hey, Code. That was, that was eight minutes right there. You know, Jonathan, guess what? I'm going to CMJ, and I'm going to M from Montreal. How do you like what? that? What? You're going to I'm festivals? Well, oh. festival's different. It's a little bit different. What do CMJ. You mean? Him it's at solo CMJ? clubs. He's not going to one no, big event. but that's like, I'm so disappointed. You're like the anti-festival man. I'm not the anti-festival. Yes, I never said. No, 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 no. You've never You're, been you to South by Southwest. CMJ's I just a music don't like marathon. crowds. I'm not into crowds. CMJ, New York has no crowds. Nobody there. What? Nobody on the streets in New York. I gotta give you shit on this one. I'm sorry. You may have All right, to. Jason, tell us okay, what's tell up. Okay, tell us what. Tell us what's friends. fabulous. S secondly, you're asking Kurt about where does he hike at nighttime. I'd be I'd be scared out of my mind if uh, he gave that information. If well, I was no, him. No, and I actually did not push him on that. Did you notice? And I did. It's going to end up being I like usually, a George Michael thing answer, out there or something. I yeah. push, and I was like, ooh, that's a really bad question because someone might go stalk him. Yes. I didn't Find push. Hugo. It's not like he doesn't have a few views of people watching. Yeah, a couple. Him. Anyways, I want to start off today with this band from Brisbane, Australia called Founds. Absolutely love these guys. It's an experimental post-rock folk band in the likes of Sig Rose and of Monsters and Men, in my opinion. This band gets much inspiration from the bands like Talking Heads. You got that one? And the Beach Boys, sharing stages with Naked and Famous and also Gosling. The Sextet will become definitely become headliners, especially with their latest track, which I adore, called Caves. Their new album comes out when? Tomorrow, called Hayden on CD and also on all iTunes as well. Um, next up, we have an artist who ranked number one on Kickstarter. Can anybody name that here? Amanda Palmer. Amanda Palmer. She got the most funds raised for a new release. A brand new album is called Theater is Evil that is out right now. Over $1 million raised. She brings you an amazing album that I can't even seem to put down. It is, it's going to be, probably become this cult album. This album has taken over four years to complete and well worth the wait with such great tunes as I Want It Back, Do It With A Rock Star, and the haunting vocals called Berlin, star. which is a beautiful track. Definitely albums that folks will, will have, you know, come in years to come. And finally, this is going to be a home run. It is from the Universal UK label called The Rascals, these guys. Not to be confused with the band from the late 60s, but four guys who have entered into a new style of hip-hop that really fuses contemporary electronica, such as grime. Uh, you could tell that they like guys like Wiley and also uh, Dizzy Rascal. Uh, their new song, and I kid you not, is called Ape Shit, is receiving great reviews all across the globe, and with great flows like these, these guys, they're going to have a major hit. Now, you can follow me on at KCRW Kramer, and and also, my name is Jason Kramer. I'm back to you guys. Woo, Jason Kramer in the house. Uh, Did you notice that last artist you talked about was British? He still likes us. I bits. know. Well, you know, that's how we roll. Okay. And shoes. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm really jealous about the shoes, and you're going to show me the photo later. But first, Alex Troop is going to join us, and we are going to watch this super cool video called Edge of the World.
Troop to the show, and Always, I want to give a special shout out to the entire band. Troop. You cannot fit on the couch because there's too many of too you, many, many so troopers. you are all represented here. Um, welcome, you guys are great. Thank you, we're uh, happy to be here. I think I can speak for all of them, even if I. It's, t it's tough luck if you can't. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, we enjoyed it. It was nice to play that first number, Mickey Mouse Teeth. We're looking forward to closing out the show with them. Um, a uh, slightly heavier rock song called mm. Some Lie. Oh. More of a classic rock feel. It's where I was schooled in. Uh, yeah, who are your favorite, some of your favorite influences of classics? Oh, you know, the golden era, the golden age, Neil Young, Led Zepp, Beale Stones, mm -hmm. all of that. Not to say I don't like, you know, some, actually some of the bands I was listening to you earlier. I, that sounds like a great festival. Yeah, Neil. Be at the yeah. Yeah. Flaming Lips show. and Jack White. Who doesn't say no Spend to Spend an Neil afternoon Young. watching those as That's well. True. When he calls you up and says, hey, we want you to be on my show. Yeah. Even One Axel Rose says yes. Yeah. So how, what, what is your journey, what was your journey from Wales to Los Angeles? You said uh, you I was there. in a rock band um, from a pretty young age, I think. And then we moved to London. Band, I was in an old, old band back in Britain, uh, a band called Crashland. And we went to London, signed to Sony for a bit. And then I came over here, fell in love with an American girl, mm -hmm. living the dream, model. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're doing it straight How'd up. How'd that work out? Beautiful Heartbreak. asleep. <laughs> just yeah, guessing. It's, I'm it's, just guessing. Yeah. I mean, the band's snickering, uh, sorry. I got a few good stories out of it, good uh, songs out of it. Yeah, I think. well, that's so, the whole idea. Yeah. The pain and suffering, right? Yes, it was, uh, you know, it was, it was an experience. Uh, and then I just decided to stay because when Sele gets under your skin, it's ever more difficult to leave, I think. The weather's long. a bit better than Wales, right? Yeah, it, the weather's better, yeah. Uh, you know, there's just the, uh, this opportunity here and there's great music here. And, you know, a lot of great things about this town that uh, sort of get under your skin and, and make it more and more difficult to leave. So I decided to stay. Right. And then I met Evan actually in a, in Amoeba buying vinyl one day. Fellow like you do, junkies. like us musicians do. Mm -hmm. I think there's more people buying vinyl now than, you know, for some time, so that's good. And so you put together an LA based. Yeah, we put together uh, a band. I had a few demos. Ev recorded them. We liked the sound. Um, we toyed around with some session players and then we realized we needed a real band, so I uh, went out and canvassed the streets for a rock band. Um, coincidentally, my old friend Graham uh, moved to LA and he plays drums. Uh, Darren, we poached from another band, I think, the bass player. And then, uh, just as we needed a guitarist, Claudio flew in from uh, Italy and uh, we knew he was the man. Fantastic. So it all came together very well. Sweet. Yeah. So tell us about making the debut album. Um, and tell us all what it's called. The tell debut album the, is called them. Last Chance for Romance. Ooh. Yeah. It's not it. inspired by the model at all, the right? The songs of heartbreak and, <laughs> and bitterness. <laughs> Aren't yeah. those the best rock songs? <laughs> I, I think so, yeah. Uh, so we, you know, sequestered ourselves away in, a, in a Evan's studio in the valley. And, uh, Where all good music is made, by the way. There's a lot of good music made all in the valley, All good music actually. is made in the valley. Surprised. There is a lot of great music. Porn. And porn, yes. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know about that. <laughs> no. You're not that kind of guy. <laughs> Stick to the former. But, uh, yes. Um, and we That's wanted good. to go for a kind of classic feel. And Ev's got a lot of old gear and a, and a lot of good techniques to sort of make it sound warm in, in the way that the bands I love. And so we just... Um, Threw as many songs down as we could, and, and you know the, the good songs always speak speak to you. I mean, you can write sure. a song and you think it's going to be great, and then something that you might not have thought was going to be so great comes through when you record, you know, because of what the band brings to it. And so that was that was nice for us. And uh, thankfully, we had enough to make a record, so we put them down on, a, on an album called Last Chance for Romance. Which, if it were on vinyl, there's a nice pair of legs on the front. Nice, we like in that. In the sort of Roxy Music classic album. Oh, kind of nice, nice pair of legs. You can't see it really if you buy it, you know, online. So. Right. Oh, and what, do you have gigs coming up? Anything you want to talk about? That's yeah, we have, a, we have a great gig coming up, um, playing Bardo. Um, it's called It's a School Night, it's a KCRW oh, you're on night. Oh, the Chris show. Yeah, Chris Dorita. He does a great lineup. Supporting the band lately, and we're very happy to, uh, 
to have his support. And um, we've been invited to play on November the 5th. It's a Monday night at Bardo, so we're oh, really fantastic. excited to play that. Yeah. Maybe we'll do a little birthday thing at Yeah, we'll, got do, a, we'll do a little birthday thing at Bardo. We'll ah, excellent. That'd be, that'd be wonderful to see you. Yeah, it should be a great show. We're excited by that for sure. Yeah. Well, congratulations again. You know, really big fan. Thank and you very much. I think you guys are amazing. Yeah, thank you. And thank wish you. you the best of luck. You are now officially part of the Comet family. Uh, so you're welcome aboard. And invited back anytime. Thank you very much. Keep us posted. We yeah. will see you at we Bordeaux. Will. Yeah. And will you play another song? Yes. Will we play another song, gentlemen? Come what's, on, guys. Uh, what's this one called? This one is called Some Lie. Some? Some Lie. L I E. L I E. Oh, some, as in some, some people love tell lies. lies. Some, some people tell lies. lies. Fantastic. All right, cool. Thank you. Right, Get in there and, uh, and set up yeah, and. Um, and so, just so everyone in the in the in the world knows, um, Kurt Hugo Schneider is going to come back after the show to do a little post-show chat. So, if anyone out there looking has more questions. Secrets of YouTube. Kurt Hook it up. Got them all. Because we will answer those questions for you. Because that's. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. That's what the weekly comment does. That's what we do. Brings the best of music and the best of stuff. all sorts of people. Stuff. Entertainment Things. stuff. So that's good. We got it going on. And next week, we've got a big show. We do. Really big show. We got a big show. 88. 88 next week. Love that band. Anybody know the 88? Gotta check that out. Email us. Let us know. Yo, we'll be Troop, here playing some hits. You guys ready to rock and roll? Yeah. In the meantime, Troop, Take ladies it. and gentlemen, kill it.
building. Rock and roll. Good. Thank you guys so much for being on the show. So Everyone, this is true. Nice work. Be sure to check them out. Get their album, Bardo, on November five, five, November 5. Five. Five. And we'll we will see you next week on the Weekly Comet. And for those of you who want to stick around, post-show chat with Kurt Hugo Schneider. Peace out.